So everyone's got a trainer strike. All over Snapchat. All over um, trainers. Because there's nothing they can do about it, they said, if you all, if you all wear trainers. The message has been sent by an anonymous school-wide Snapchat. Let me guess, you were on Snapchat last night and somebody had this great idea. Listen, if you've got damn trainers on, get over here and line up. You can Facebook, Snapchat, whatever the hell you want. Your backsides are out of here. I hate social media. It is the bane of my life. They've done it on purpose. Of course you have. Has the Snapchat gone round? Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if we all went in trainers? What would they do? It causes some trouble. It causes some trouble. Miss, have you got a spare classroom anywhere? Okay, you sit up there. You sit beside Ollie. You sit. Oh. Now you'll sit, or I damn well tell you. Hey, sit there. So, have we all got pens? We will write, I do not make the rules in Harrow Fall. We wear the same uniform because we are a team. We're going to smash the world record for lines. There will be no speaking. You will have no breaks. That is how it works here. News of the Snapchat message has reached Deputy Head, Mr Ross Povey. You don't look happy, sir. They've took it upon themselves not to wear the right footwear. This is the Snapchat revolution. Can anybody here put their hand up and truly say that you believed you would get away with wearing trainers because some fool posted on Snapchat, hey everybody, wear trainers tomorrow. Put your hand up if you genuinely believe that we'd go, oh, are you wearing them because of Snapchat? Fine, go on, go to your lesson. Put your hand up if you genuinely believe that. Yeah, so why did you do it? A lot of our issues here begin on social media. But for me, it would be a nonsense to try and stop students bringing mobile phones to school. Right, thank you, sir. See you later. Thanks, sir. Now then, let's go. It's 2017. Everybody's got a mobile phone. It's part of their lives, so can't ignore it. What would you all do if you had no phones? I'd cry. I'd um, lock myself in the bedroom. I'd sleep. Yeah. Forever? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything we do, it goes on Facebook. Facebook is well old. It's like older than my grandma. That's how old it is. Oh, my kids, you come here for a second, come here. Snapchat is quite new. <laughs> <laughs> That's me on Snapchat. Me waving a sausage about. <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> my favourite snap that I've ever sent is I, I took a picture <laughs> underneath my face, right? And my two, my two nostrils were flaring and. <laughs> I, I put the word Google into it, but my nostrils were the two O's. It was great. Shannon, the phone you? needs to go away. You're going to make me die. No, now, please. Yes, they need to be carefully managed. Yes, we need to be strong with the students about when is appropriate to use them. Right, Shannon. Wait, oh, my God, wait. Out of the lesson now, please. <laughs> Outside. Shannon. You just made me die. But for me, if we want to truly prepare young people for the world, then the power in the palm of your hand, this new, exciting technology, why wouldn't we embrace that? Right, let's start properly. 